everyone, Jessica here with another layout for Bramble Fox Design Team. Today I'm using the February Fox Box Plus with all of these beautiful goodies in it. I'm going to use that stencil today along with those paper snips and a couple of the perspectives. So I've got this photo of my beautiful little baby girl whenever she turned three months old. I believe it's three months there on her little wood piece. And I have pulled out the Bella Boulevard Our Love Song collection. And I have some little bits that I had previously cut out for another layout that are little circles. So I'm going to use those today and then I'm going to cut a few more to go along with it. So I'm going along with a circle type theme today and um, I just basically I just pulled out these pieces and pulled out this pattern paper from the pack that I have that goes with it and I thought I have these little pieces I want to use up so I'm just going to stick with a cir circular theme. So I'm just going to mat my photo real quick with some smooth white cardstock and then I'm going to mat it again with this scrap of striped black and white paper that I had left over in my stash here from this um, collection. And then I'm just roughing up the edges with my edge distressor. If you don't have one, you can use your scissors as well. I'm pulling out some little photo corners from ThermoWeb. These are um, like a dusty black sparkle. And I'm just placing them on all four of the corners of my photo just to give that a little bit of pop. And then I'm just going to continue building this up. So I'm going to layer a lot of things on this layout and just... Um, Put a lot of things. I'm gonna put some perspectives on there. I'm gonna cut up some paper snips. I'm actually gonna use the coordinating die from the shop. So I've ran that through my Big Shot machine and cut all those out on that bottom section, which is super helpful. That way you don't have to cut them all out by hand. And then I just grabbed some red tissue paper to place behind my photo and I'm just stapling those on a couple of those corners there to hold all of those layers together. My boys are actually home today from school. Um, school was closed today so they're like running amok right now so hopefully you can't hear too much of that in my background <laughs> i've pulled out this stencil from the fox box plus from february and it has this beautiful kind of um, scattered heart design kind of like they're cascading and it's just gorgeous so i'm just using this along with some lumberjack plaid distress oxide and just using a blending brush to apply this just kind of sporadically in my layout but i want to focus on the main um, section of my layout being across the middle here or I guess it's kind of a little bit towards the top but mainly just in that horizontal design so I'm just keeping everything in this one section and I'm just going to build up all of my layers. I will alternate sticking some of these down with some Nuvo glue and also I will pop some of those up with some 3D foam squares. I'm just pulling out the little perspex bits that I'm going to use today. So I'm going to use this beautiful love title and then that little arrow that says you so much. So it'll say love you so much. I think that's what it says. It's so small on my screen whenever I'm editing and I don't have it here in front of me to actually see it in person and be able to read it. But I think that's what it says. And I'm sure you guys can see it fine on your screen now because it's bigger when you play it back. But for me, editing, it's really, really, really tiny. So I'm just adding in all of my layers. I'm going to use these little circles that I cut out from the paper snips and actually make them into some epoxy flare using the coordinating epoxy stickers from the shop. And then I'm going to use a couple of these little phrases up here by that little record. I just think that little perspective that that little record is so cute. It has this little phrase that kind of goes with it. So I'm going to place that up by that and kind of keep those together in a little cluster up there. But I love how this stencil just kind of peeks through in little areas. That's what I was shooting for. And then I'm just using all of these little circles that I cut with my LA Studio. No, they're not LA Studio. They are... Um, Echo Park, I think. I think they're Echo Park nested circle dies. They're stitched circles. So I cut all of those out on my Big Shot machine and then I've just layered them all up and kind of staggered them all over. So this, I'm just kind of faking that out, making it appear that it's a full circle, but I just tucked it under my photo because it's just a little half circle. And then here, I'm just using my Nuvo glue to stick some of these down. Again, I'm gonna pop some of these up with some 3D foam squares as well, just for some dimension. But I'm just basically getting all of these stuck down at this point. Um, for my epoxy flare, I'm going to end up grabbing some, uh, it's like a charcoal colored thread. It's not quite black, but it is dark. But I'm going to grab some of that and place behind my little flare um, epoxies and place that behind there, kind of all twiddled up. So 
I'll grab some glue dots then to adhere those. And here I'm just using those 3D foam squares to pop up a few little elements on here. So if you guys did not grab the subscription for the Fox Box, I will put a link down in the description below in case you want to sign up for that because it is amazing. Every month has something different and it's usually themed for that month and has some extra little bits in it as well. And it's a lot of stuff for such a minimal cost. So it's definitely, definitely worth it. And I just love getting it every month and seeing what's new and exciting and what I can use. And um, I've used them for literally so many things. And of course you get a stencil so with the Foxbox Plus and you can use that over and over and over. So it definitely comes in handy. So I'm just continuing to pop up a few of these little elements in here. I'm going to go ahead and finish sticking everything down. Um, and then I thought about adding some sequins, but in the end, I opted out of doing that because I thought this layout has enough and I want to keep my focus on that beautiful photo of my baby girl and my title piece. So I didn't want to add too, too much more to this. I feel like it has a lot going on already with the stenciling in the background as well. So I just left it as is, but I'm just putting some tape runner down here just to adhere my photo. Um, I have stapled those layers together, so I'm not too concerned about them moving around or anything like that in between those layers. So just wanted to get that down on my page. I'm using some Nuvo Deluxe Liquid Adhesive on my Perspectives. Um, it does dry clear, so you don't have to worry about that peeking through whenever it's dry, which I absolutely love. And it really has a good hold too, so it works out good for adhering all of those little bits down. And then that little tiny circle um, that's on the bottom right kind of section of my layout right now, um, right where I'm at right now, that little thing, I'm actually going to pop some more of those out um, with my little punch. It's actually a hole reinforcement punch that I love to use. And I just like to punch them out and stagger them throughout my layout and just kind of crinkle them up and stick them down by like just a little piece. So I'll do that here in a moment. And um, I'm going to actually stamp some little chevrons on here. I thought I needed to bring the focus back to my photo after adding all of this busy stuff to it. So I'm just adding a couple of these cute little chevron stamps just to the top and the bottom, just like little arrows to my photo. And of course, I grabbed some black splatters because, you know, why not? <laughs> so this is just some black Heidi Swap color shine that I'm adding here, just flicking it on with the, um, the pump piece that you just unscrew out of the bottle. So here is my little epoxies that I am creating, um, just sandwiching them with some glue dots and some thread, just twiddled up in my hand, and then just sticking all of those layers together to add them to my page. And I do kind of mess with it a little bit just to get it the way that I want it to look. So there, that one's done. Just sticking down that cute little heart. And um, this one's almost done. I just have to finish um, punching some of these little holes out. I'm actually gonna grab the, um, I have a bunch of a bunch of little packs that they sent me um, that's just like some miscellaneous stuff, but this one here is the box of hearts. So it comes with a, just a ton of hearts in different sizes, shapes, and colors. Some of them are filled in, some of them are just outlines like that one there. So it's just super fun and you can use them on a ton of layouts and really coordinate them to whatever you're doing. So it's a good thing to have in your stash. There's also a box of stars too that I just love. So I actually need to get another one of those because I'm almost out of stars, which is, I know, a shocker for me to almost be out of any acrylic, but I am getting low on my stars. So I need to reorder those. But I'm just continuing to stick everything down. Nothing too crazy from here on out. Um, I'm just continuing to layer this up and get everything stuck down to my page. Um, and that's pretty much it for this one, other than that reinforcement punch that I'm probably digging for right now. Yep, there it is. So I'm just using this punch. I think it's by We Are Makers, if I remember right. And mine kind of sticks a little bit. I need to like run some wax paper through there to get it oiled up again. But um, all I do is I just punch them out. I crinkle them up in my hand a little bit. And then I just stick down a couple of places on them. Not the whole thing because I don't want it to be flat. I want it to look crinkled and have dimension. So I just stick it down in a couple little spots. So I'm just staggering those on here just to finish these up. 
Then let's see what else do I do. I have some little stitching stickers sitting on the left side of my desk right now. Those are my pretty little studio and I'm actually going to grab those and use a whole bunch of them on here as well. I like the little X's that look like stitches so I'm going to actually cut them apart and use a whole bunch on this layout just staggering those throughout the page as well. So here is the finished layout. I hope you guys like how this one came together and enjoyed spending some time with me today. I hope I've inspired you to create something beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.